And lastly, are there any benefits in uh, sleeping while you're sitting? Uh, when people sleep sitting, it's actually even better results for the body oxygen test are possible. And this is what Dr. Buteyka and his colleagues, I read some other books written by uh, Soviet medical doctors, who again, for like, these are totally unique uh, group of doctors in a way that we studied a lot about sleep because for up to 80-90% of, of people, ordinary people or people who have health problems or severe health problems, all these people, they would have more health problems during sleep. And therefore, addressing factors related to sleep became a crucial part of the Buteyko briefing method of the lifestyle, how to adjust, like thermoregulation, body position, how to prevent uh, mouth breathing during sleep, to use all these techniques. And therefore, so what happens that we wrote in the books, and I spoke also with, uh, for example, Andrei Navazilov, he is chief doctor of the Moscow clinic, Moscow Botega clinic, where doctors teach breathing to train. We all believe that sleep seeking is actually the best uh, position for the human body, because the results for the body oxygen test would be higher. And in many cases, when people have like um, correct sleep posture during uh, sleep while sitting, be able to nearly maintain or keep about the same results for the body oxygen test as we had in, in the evening. So sleep sitting, therefore, is uh, beneficial from medical health viewpoint. But what is interesting here is that if we look at the history of uh, humanity, for example, what was going on even at recent times, because it's much more difficult to define, to say how people slept, let's say, like 10,000 or 100,000 years ago, there were no written uh, information from those times, and really difficult to say how people were sleeping. But about medieval times, it's relatively easy, because even though we cannot find uh, any books, like surprisingly so little information, like one... Uh, the, the anthropologists actually tried to investigate what is known about sleeping in the past. And she found that there's like virtually no information known. And, but if we look at uh, many cities, we have museums of old houses. You know, you can find like, go to a, a place where you can see like how it was look like the house in which people lived in maybe 15 or 16 or 17th century. And uh, in this house, we would show a bed, we say this is actually the bed. But the bed would look, would look totally different from what we have now. What we have now, like the mattress foundation, like all, all these thick layers and then big pillows, heavy, huge blankets. It's a very recent invention. It started somewhere around like 1930s, 1940s, because before people slept, had much simpler sleeping conditions. But if we look again at the more ancient beds, like those which were common two, three, four hundred years ago, even very recently in our history. Uh, instead of a bed, it would be something like a closet, you know, you can open the door and you can see the bed. The bed would be actually, uh, it would not be uh, hugely long, but the length would be probably a little bit more than one meter, like whatever, like uh, would be like uh, three feet, three and a half feet. And uh, although people were shorter, uh, two, three, four hundred years ago, they were probably short, like by 15, 20 centimeters, like uh, six, maybe more inches, but they were not that short, so there was no way they could lie horizontally in this bed. All they could do, they could sit in this bed. And uh, this is very common because, if they, again, there were no ordinary beds in the, past, in, in the past. So people were sleeping, sitting, and not only that, there was a belief during medieval times that if you lie down in the horizontal position, uh, evil spirit is going to move into you and eventually, not right away, it's going to kill you. So people have this, in a way, it's superstition, but from medical and physiological viewpoint, and again, what doc these doctors discovered about sleep and highest mortality now, which is totally proven, highest mortality and highest chances of attack, it makes total sense that sleeping in the horizontal position is... Um, um, is not a good thing for human beings, 